The Spring 2018 feature update for Windows 10, also known as 1803, breaks the Epson scan software. This affects all compatible devices, including Epson's dedicated line of scanners from the V300 on up. When the problem occurs, you'll see a small Epson window flicker in the bottom corner of the screen and sometimes bounce around sporadically. The app locks up and your only recourse is to terminate it through the task manager and then power your device off and on again. This happens most commonly after switching to a different application and then back to the scanning app. Epson has acknowledged that this problem affects most of their products and they've reportedly escalated the matter. Until a fix becomes available through Epson or Microsoft, the quick fix is to simply run it in administrative mode. Here are the steps. Step 1. Download the latest Epson scan package from Epson's website for your respective device. You can find the correct download by entering the device's model number into the Epson.com website and then clicking on the support link. From there, select Scanner Driver and Epson Scan Utility and click Download. Step 2. Once downloaded, install the program to your computer using the default options. This process will place a new shortcut to the software on your desktop, which will make the next step a little easier. If asked to restart, please do so. Step 3. Right-click on the Epson Scan shortcut on your desktop and select Properties. Step 4. Click on the Compatibility tab. Step 5. Click on the button at the bottom titled Change Settings for All Users, and if prompted for confirmation, click Yes. Step 6. Check the option Run this program as an administrator. Step 7. Click OK, then click OK again to close the properties. You should now be able to launch Epson Scan again and use it without issue. Depending on your user account settings, you may have to click Yes if prompted with a security alert when you run it. The first time you launch the application after making these changes, you may also receive a compatibility alert. Select Yes, this program worked correctly to close it. If you do not have a scan icon on your desktop, you can still modify the executable directly. To do this, press Windows key plus R and then type C colon backslash Windows backslash Twain underscore 32 backslash E S C N D V backslash, and then press enter. When the Explorer window appears, right-click on the escndv.exe icon and select Properties. Then you can continue the rest of the tutorial as usual. If you have the user account control enabled, you'll receive a confirmation box each time you launch the app in administrative mode. Although a minor nuisance, there are a couple solutions. When the alert appears, you can click on Show More Details and then change when these notifications appear. From there, you can lower the level to the second notch to still receive the alert but without dimming the entire desktop. You can alternatively set the option to Never Notify to remove the alert entirely. Be aware that this is a global setting and unless you are an advanced user, I don't recommend disabling it since the alerts can help prevent malware installation. A more intelligent solution is to use a third-party utility or the task scheduler to disable the alert on this application exclusively. Since this can be a somewhat more involved process, I will refer you to an excellent tutorial from Raymond.cc, which thoroughly covers numerous methods of doing so. You'll find the tutorial link in the description below. Please like and subscribe to encourage more videos and series like this one. Thank you.